Hey, what's up? It's Till here. And in today's episode, I want to talk to you about willpower and how to use willpower effectively to control your life. Welcome to the Till Boadella Show, where I show you how to build a business you love and live the life of your dreams. So willpower is the most scarce resource that we have as human beings, right? We all think that we're in control of our lives, but in reality, we're just creatures of habits, right? All you do on your on a daily basis, it's just habits, right? You think you're steering the ship of your life, you think you're controlling your life, but in reality, it's your habitual brain that's controlling your life. Your life is running on autopilot. And the only way to change your life or to take influence on your life is to change your habits, right? There's no quick fix. There's no loophole. You know, you got to change your habits if you want to change your life. And now the only way to change your habits is through raw willpower. Willpower is the tool to change your habits, right? Because your daily life, what you're doing right now is running on autopilot. And if you want to change those habits, you have to use willpower. That's how it works. There's no way around it. And changing habits is very, very hard. And the problem is our willpower is very limited. So basically, you only have a limited amount of willpower that you can work with to change your habits and to change the course of your life. And now most people don't even get that far. Most people, they live with this illusion that they have full control over their lives, right? You know, I I know an alcoholic that thinks he's choosing to drink beer, uh, three beers every day. I mean, that's just a rationalization to think you're in control when in reality you're an addict. And a lot of people do this. They rationalize that they're in control, right? You know, uh, for example... I choose to rather work in a job than, you know, have my own business. That's a rationalization, maybe. Maybe you you enjoy working in McDonald's, maybe not. Oftentimes, it's just a rationalization. So you can feel that you're in control of your life. And now, if you want to move forward in your life, and especially if you want to become an entrepreneur, you have to stop telling those lies. You have to understand how you live your life right now and, um, you know, how you live your day-to-day life is based on habits and it's autopilot behavior. And if you want to change those old autopilot behaviors and replace those old behaviors and those old habits with new habits, the way to do that is by using raw willpower. And it's one of the most important things you need to cultivate in your life, willpower. If I would have to choose one thing that I could increase and improve in my, in my life and in my business, In most cases, it'll be willpower. So let me explain to you how willpower works. I'll show you some simple willpower hacks that you can use in your life to make it easier to use willpower. Because let's face it, it's very hard to use willpower, right? We all want to change our lives. Like, I can promise you anyone that you'll talk to, uh, you know, anyone in the world has something they want to change. And the solution to that change is willpower. And the problem is most people have a very hard time using their willpower effectively because willpower is a bit like a muscle. It's like a brain muscle. The more you use it, the the stronger it grows. And most people never use it long enough. It's like going to the gym, right? You have to go to the gym a lot of times until you get stronger. And it's the same with willpower. You just got to start using that willpower over and over again and it'll grow stronger and your control, your personal power will grow, your ability to influence your habits will increase. So here's a simple hack. Your willpower is the strongest in the beginning of the day. So if you have something important you want to do or something you want to change, you got to do that at the very beginning of your day. So when you wake up in the morning, you're, you know, it's like a blank slate, your batteries are reloaded. And that's when you have to use your willpower. So all the tasks, all the things that are important and hard for you to do, you're going to do them at the very beginning of the day, right? Because in the evening, the longer your day, the more time passes in your day, the harder it gets to to use your willpower. That's why procrastinating, you know, is so uh, widely spread. So, for example, if you want to lose weight, then you got to focus on 
you know, eating the right things at the very beginning of the day, right? If you want to, um, you know, do some cold calls and you've never done it before, do those in the morning if it's hard for you. If you, you know, anything you want to change, anything that's hard for you, that has a lot of resistance, you got to do that at the very beginning of the day, okay? All the tasks that require a lot of willpower, which means tasks that are very hard for you to do, very stressful, and uh, you have a lot of procrastin- you know, procrastination around those tasks, do those at the very beginning of the day. Something else, you know, the same principle applies to your week. You have the most willpower beginning of the week. Usually Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you have the most willpower. You can work very hard on the, on the important tasks in your life. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, your willpower, it decreases. That's why Mondays are so important. You know, I get the most stuff done on Mondays. That's when I start really strong. You know, I have an amazing day. Uh, I have a perfect day, super productive. I focus on lots of stuff that's important for me. Stuff I know I need to get done and I know I need to use my willpower muscle to execute that stuff. I do that on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then usually I have a productivity drop around Thursday, Friday, which is fine. I still get a lot of stuff done but I won't be that productive anymore, right? I'm the most productive Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And the reason why is because my willpower peaks Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then it slowly fades, uh, you know, it wears off a bit. So this rule is very important. Your willpower peaks at the beginning of the day and at the beginning of the week. So beginning of every day, focus on the task that is the most important for you, that requires the most willpower. Focus on the habits you want to change at the beginning of the day. And the same applies to the weeks. Focus on the things that require a lot of willpower. Beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and never at the end of the week, okay? Most people, they start slow and, you know, their week just wears off and they never get anything done. If you start your day with procrastination, your day's over, okay? You, you won't get anything done, most likely. If you start your week with procrastination, you won't get done anything, okay? The way you start your day is the way you end your day. And the way you start your week is the way you end your week. So... Use this simple principle when you apply willpower and I promise you it'll have a huge impact on your life. You'll start to gain more control over your habits and, uh, you know, once you've done something for long enough that it turns into an autopilot behavior, then you can focus on a new task and you can stack different habits in your life, okay? But this is how it works, okay? This is how you kill procrastination and this is how you use your willpower. And the more you use your willpower, the more you focus on those tasks that you hate doing, that you have a hard time doing, um, the more you overcome that internal resistance and that procrastination by using these simple principles, like focusing on the task you hate doing most, you know, being that the first task in the day and Doing that also with your week, focusing on the most important stuff, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it'll make a tremendous difference in your life, I believe. So play around with this, experiment with this, and uh, I hope it has the same amazing impact on your life as it had on my life. Peace.